What did I just give you? Okay, okay. Throughout all the years, we were verbally 50-50 partners on everything we do. But today, we just made it official on the paper. Yeah, and, and you know, most of your fans are going to think Rashida has no, all the money. Kirk, no, Kirk started it. Owned the took company. Care of me, owns the company. T funded my entire career, my life, and now we have all of these different businesses and things and all this stuff that we have to put on paper. Right. What's up guys, it's your girl River and I am back again with another video. Um, so I saw this um, interview that went a little bit viral on Instagram. Um, it is of Kirk and Rashida, which if you do not know who Kirk and Rashida are, Rashida is a former rapper from Atlanta. I'm the type of girl you want to take to your mama house. Take, 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 take to your mama house. Put it on and make him want to marry me. Yeah. Put it on and make him want to marry me. Yeah. Um, Kirk was actually the one who owned the record label as well as he is a businessman, I believe from Harlem. Um, and so, um, they both star on the TV show, love and hip hop Atlanta. They have been on the series for numerous years, I believe since the inception of the show. And we have seen them go through a lot of different ups and downs, um, on the show, uh, for a long period of time okay there was a portion where kirk actually ended up having a child outside of the marriage you take the dna test and the results did come back and it is me um rashida decided to repair things and stay within her marriage um and so there's a lot of things that have happened between the two of them and I see that they were at the VMAs and the shade room stepped in to ask them a couple of questions. And so we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to pause and play and then give you guys my feelings, my thoughts um, about this entire situation, about the things that I told you um, as a whole. Guys, give our roommates some advice on how you keep the love alive. Obviously, you guys have been through some ups and some downs, but still together. So, what what is the secret here? What you would say the secret is? What you? Find? I mean, you know, the secret would be you got to understand you're going to deal with a lot of criticism from people telling you how you should be in a relationship, and I don't think people understand. Me and Rashida have been married 25 years. You know, first of all, we best friends. We're friends first, and you know, we could talk about a lot of things, but. You got to have a friendship and you got to understand everything ain't going to be perfect. Talk to your grandma, your grandpa's and figure out how these relationships make it because it's about a team here. You know, you need a, a I always say you need a day and a night. You need a plus and a minus. So it's the team. Yeah, so it's like a team thing and that's what we do. We, we work as a team, you know. I get beat up a lot, but it is what it is. So I want to talk about what he said, right? So he said there's always going to be criticism of people trying to tell you how you are supposed to act within your marriage. And I do want to talk about that, right? Because, you know, a lot of times when people get married, it is such, it has become such a um, social thing, right? It's not a community thing or a family structure, structure thing. It has been come very much a social thing like dating. So, what happens is, is that you have a lot of people who get married because all their homegirls got married at a certain time and they want to get married too, um, you know, or maybe they've seen other people on social media getting married and, you know, they feel like they've been together long enough and that's just the next step that they should take and so they should just do that. But then they get around certain people and, you know, sometimes the people around them are trying to tell them how they're supposed to maneuver within their own marriage. And what he said, even though it might si sound pretty light to people who are, um, you know, in long term relationships or long marriages who kind of like don't even think about that. It's the fact that you have to create your own home balanced uh, what's good for you, what's good for your husband, what works for your household on your own. Not because you saw your mom and your dad do something means that you need to take that whole narrative and bring it into your house and you need to just be your mama number two. 
That's not the reality. The reality is, is that the two of you have to come together and create things on your own. You have to find out who you, who your per partner is. And you have to sometimes even find out, especially if you get married kind of young, who you are. Right. You can't live in the shadows of other people and just be per perpetrating um, what you saw other people do in different in different households and then bring that now into this household and then think that everything is going to be perfect and fine because it does not work that day, that way. You have to be true to who you are. And the only way to be true to who you are is to know who you are. You have to be true to who your husband is and how you can be the best balance for your husband. And the only way to be able to be the best balance for your husband is to know who your husband is in and out thoroughly before you even get married. A lot of times the, re the reasons why some of these relationships break up is that a lot of these women are trying to be, uh, you know, their friends or their homegirls or their sisters, cousins, their mama in the house with this man. And he didn't marry them. He married you and he doesn't want that version of you. He wants who you are. Now, it doesn't mean that if you've seen, you know, good things going on or good things in the relationship and you mimic the good things. But sometimes y'all be mimicking the bad stuff, too. And so I love that he said that. And, and I 100 percent agree with that, that you have to make your own norm. You can't fall to the pressure of trying to be anybody else. You have to do what you're doing. And the two of you, once the two of you are on one accord, that's all that matters. What about for you, Rashida? Because you, 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 you put us through some things, okay? So what is that for you Allegedly. on your end? Allegedly. <laughs> okay, so what was the question again? <laughs> What's your secret to stay happily married after all these years? Um, you know what? I think with Kirk and I is more, I hate to even say this because people just talk so much. But it's the communication and really like understanding each other because over time, just because you're married to somebody doesn't mean you really know them like you should or understand them like you should. And throughout years, I guess for us, because we've been together for such a long time, you know, you, you evolve and change in life as you get older. So understanding each other and being open to that, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then most of anything, really communicating with each other and just being real with each other. Do you have to like relive certain things that are like um when you shoot love and hip-hop so i want to i want to um stop right there for a second as well because i think what she said was also very valuable and very key as well you know as you are in the relationship with this person you have to know constantly and grow with this person closely Right. You have to constantly understand what makes this person happy now at this stage that we're in. What makes this person happy now? Maybe it's a little bit different than what made them happy a couple years ago, you know, and let me understand this person as they're growing, as I'm growing. So the two of us can continue to grow together. You know, it can't just be that this person is growing and, and you don't even understand their mindset. You just looking at them like, oh, you know, you tripping or I don't got time for that. Like, no, that's not the way in which the two of you will continue to form um, and grow fruitfully. And I think that even her ability to say that, regardless of what she's gone through with him having a child outside or whatever the case is, it shows that she is actually in it forever. And a lot of people try to... Uh, shame her for it. A lot of people try to belittle her for it, but it's something that I think is very admir admirable that especially in this day and age and time that a woman is saying, I'm committed to my marriage forever, regardless of whatever goes down. That's my husband. I'm sticking with him. I picked him. I chose him. We have a family. We have kids. And this is just what it's going to be. I think it's admirable. You shoot love and hip hop, and then it airs, and then are you like mad all over again? Like right now, their whole jazz last night. Oh yeah, listen, I tell you, I just told somebody, listen, the Kirk that was filming nine years ago ain't the Kirk that's filming now because nine years ago I was new, three years in, I could take a lot. Now it's like I'm not really ready for what comes with it, but you know, she's the artist, I was the label. You know, I don't, we didn't even tell people we were married in the industry until ten years later, so it's like a gift and a curse but it's just a blessing but you know what else the woman i married 25 years ago five years 10 years changes and then 15 years it changes so do, so do i so you have to learn how to deal with the more mature and different needs her, her needs are not the same when she was 25 years younger it what are your needs now I like buildings and stuff and houses. <laughs> Buy her stuff. It used to be hash browns at the Waffle House. 
Yeah, you know, 25 years, you go through some things. And I want to say this too. Everybody is not going to go through the same things, right? Some some couples get together and, and somebody's dealing with alcoholism. Some couples get together and some people are, are dealing with depression. Some couples get together and one person has stepped out on the relationship and kind of like broken the trust, you know? There's different things that other people go through, but it's it's their hard thing. Right. And I don't think that um, and I and, and unless it's something that is literally physically harming you, which I, I can I cannot say that I, I could stand by and say, oh, you know, I understand if people stay, you know, that is a very, you know, one off situation that that is it's dangerous. Right. It's very, very dangerous. So that's that's besides that situation. You know, people are going to go through hard things. And when people decide to stay, I don't understand the shame in it. Because when people decide to break up their families for literally no reason, right? They could be in a marriage. The husband doesn't cheat. There's no problem. He comes home every night. And she just decided that the spark was gone. She don't want to be with him no more. And there's so much support that those women get. But when a woman who is you know, faithful to her husband from what we know. I think she's, she's, Rashida has said that she's done stuff in her past. But when a woman is in her marriage and he steps out and she decides to forgive him and to stay, and not only did she stay, but she's accepting the child into her home, into her life as if it's her own child and being supportive of the situation, you know, I think, again, I would say that that is admirable. I don't see why people are shaming her, trying to shame her out of it. But again, I I respect the fact that she is able to stand 10 toes down and say, yes, this is my husband, this is my life, and that's just what it is. Period. I'm not going anywhere. Nobody can force me to go anywhere. It's not happening. I think that's admirable. And people, you know, in this day and age where everything is so quick and everything moves so fast, they just want people to just give up and throw in the towel, um, you know, when the going gets tough. And obviously they're showing a whole different type of mindset that, no, you know, not just because the going gets tough, I'm just going to, you know, throw everything we work so hard for away. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to work it out. I'm going to fix it. And she's smiling. So obviously she's not miserable, okay? When we see her on social media, the two of them, they look far from miserable. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.